it's uh kid here and I'm gonna do a video on how to sh how to make a bottle rocket gun um this is my own design I just kind of thought of it one day and the first one I made sucked um it caught on fire a few times and it melted so it was pretty much crap and I made a new one and it's perfectly fine and that's the other one I'm going to show you how to make. <clears throat> so, first of all, this is what it looks like at the end. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty awesome as well, I guess. I don't know. I don't say that word because I'm usually, I'm not a nerd like that, so. Okay, what you're going to need is a metal or plastic tube. Um, probably about seven, eight, or nine inches, something like that. And then you're going to, you're going to need a plug for it. And you don't have to, but you're going to burn the crap out of your arm if you don't. So that's why I have one. Um, tin foil, optional. I use it. Um, lighter, wood. A wooden stick, like a skewer, like oh, I just got a wooden skewer, and um, use that, broke it, and um, obviously a bottle rocket, and uh, hot glue, that's what you need, hot glue, and that's it for the materials. Okay, first step I would do was take your tube, hot glue, the cap to the end of it so once you do that uh, I would just build one during the video but um I don't have enough like parts to make another one so that's why I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna show you so do that then wrap it hot glue tin foil like wrap it around and I'll tell you why to do this in a second <clears throat> okay um, once that's done uh, it should look like that. And then, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is take your wooden stick, break it in half, and then break a piece of a little, about an inch off of that half piece, and then glue the bigger piece to the lighter, and it has to be bigger than the lighter, that's why I said... Take an inch off so it's not too big but not too small. So about an inch from the lighter to the top of the stick. And then you're going to need that inch that you took off from the, broke off from the half of the skewer. You're going to take, take this that you would glue, you got need to glue this like that. And then you're going to need to take the inch and you're going to, Put some glue about about an inch down. Um, put some hot glue. Uh, then put the inch piece on top of that like this. And then let it dry and then put some more. And then put like a dot here and a dot here and a couple dots around. And then put a piece of tin foil on it. And I'll tell you why I do that again. And then put some tin foil on this side. So once it's all dry, it should, the front that you have just done should look something like that. I'm sorry if these directions are bad, I don't know. They probably are because I've never done this before. But um, So I think that's it to build it. It's that simple. And then what you're going to have to do with your bottle rocket See, you can tell that, oh, yeah, 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 if you're using a metal tube, crap, I forgot to say this, if you're using a metal tube, you don't need to use the tin foil, and, but you still should get a cap, you still need hot glue, you don't need the tin foil, you still need the wooden sticks, pretty much everything but the tin foil, so, because I'll tell you why in a minute, why you need tin foil for the plastic, um, I, depends how long your bottle rocket is. Mine just so happens to be 
I don't know, bigger than my tube. So, what I'm going to do, break an inch off. And yeah, about, I broke that much off, so now it's like that big. And here's my tube. And so it fits pretty much right in it. And I'm going to show you how to load it now. So you take the bottle rocket, you bend the fuse forward like that. So it's pretty much down like this. Then, oh yeah, okay, so for here, you probably can't see it here. See how there's a little half of a circle? That's, that's what you need to leave. You can't put it right in front. You have to glue it to the side like that so you don't mess up. So after that, um, the half circle, you put the fuse, make sure it's at the bottom, Do put the stick in, and then just keep pushing, pushing it down like that. And then when you get to about there, Bob can't see it. This fuse, bend it down. And then it should be right over the flame where the lighter will be. So if you have to, just adjust it. Okay, so this is what it'll look like when it's loaded and done. And to shoot it, I'm inside my house, so I don't want to shoot it, but I'll take the bottle rocket out and show you. So. To hold it, oh, it depends what hand you are. Like, if you're left-handed, put this, the lighter, on the other side of the tube so it's easier for you to light. Um, so this is what it looks like done. It's like, not even, it's kind of cool looking, but tin foil makes it look better. And then this is how you hold it. Like this. And another reason for the stick. I mean, if you're going to have a war with it, which I am, it's like a little aiming thing. I don't know. This is how you load it, or shoot it. So your bottle rocket's in, fuses right here. You just do the lighter, and it lights it, and it'll shoot. And what the tin foil is for, the tin foil is for, because the plastic will obviously melt, and this wooden stick will catch on fire. Uh, previous, my first one, you can see that my stick right there caught on fire. So I put it tin foil over it. Tin foil over the top of the tube, definitely right there. That's where you definitely want it. You don't really have to put it anywhere else back here, but I would just in case because. Some bio rockets shoot sparks when they go. That's exactly what mine do. So that's what the point of the cap is. So it sparks don't fly and shoot you in the face. And the tin foil, I just said, keeps it from melting and catching on fire. So if you have it on both sides secure, uh, you should be good. And um, I'll have a video on me shooting it. Um, not today, because it's dark out, probably tomorrow, and, um, yeah, that's it.